a good team, no doubt about it. Here he is. He's got his wheel changed now. I think it was a back wheel in the end that they slotted in for him. Now it's up to the Maillot-Jean to catch up again. Now the fact that no teammates are with him means pretty much that uh, this was a routine change. He's not in any difficulty. He's just going to pedal his way downhill and back through the cars. You can hear the car horns blowing as the Maillot Jaune and the Tour de France uh, courses through the back of the peloton, heading into the bunch. No panic, no teammates, no problems. I think the way the team have acted this afternoon, Phil, they're not really concerned about Fabian Cancellara holding on to the overall lead this afternoon. I think he will lose time on the final climb of the day, but it depends on how the climbers attack the ascent. If there is a lot of attacking and a lot of changes of pace, that will not be good for Fabian Cancellara because although he's got a big engine, it's a little bit like a big diesel engine, he can get it up to high speed and keep it at that one rhythm for a very long time. But climbers like Alberto Contador, they like to go uphill by accelerating and slowing down, accelerating and slowing down, and that, uh, that actually assassinates a rider like Fabian Cancellara. Dizzy old chases and our camera keeping up with him here on these narrow roads. He carves his way through. And he's like you mentioned there, Paul. He said this morning, by the way, that uh, he'd see well, how his body is going to react and how the form is. Uh, but he's very conscious of the fact that two and a half thousand feet uh, beforehand. There's the doctor's car. Oh, goodness me. Well, well, you right. can't blame the doctor's car. He's got nowhere else to go. Well, no, uh, but bear in mind, Cancellara is a superb bike handler. And of the 180 that started a week ago from Monaco. He's not back yet. But, oh, goodness me. See you in a minute. Just moving up there, Cancellara doesn't seem ruffled at all by that little bit of a, a chase that he's had to put on. He really is a phenomenal bike rider. Last year he did great work in the mountains to set up for, for the victory of Carlos Sastra. The Monday morning after the tour finished, he jumped on a plane and flew to Beijing. And he wanted to get used to the time change. He reckoned it took one day for every hour of the time difference to get himself onto Chinese time. And of course he wanted to get used to the weather and climatic conditions there. And he probably made the best investment of anybody else because he absolutely walked away with the gold medal in the team time in the individual time trial